Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your postnatal workout. What you're going to need today is a set of light dumbbells, a set of heavier dumbbells. You're also going to need a band, and you can go ahead and slide that band into a high band position right around the quads. You will also need either a bench or a sturdy chair. Now, if you're using a chair, just make sure you're setting the back of the chair up against a wall because we will be pressing back and down into the chair and we just want to make sure that it doesn't slide back on you all right so grab all of your stuff grab something to hydrate with oh by the way this is violet and she's not taking her nap today and let's get to work all right we're going to begin our warm-up and our first block in a seated position but you can do this standing as well so if you've set enough for today you can go ahead and rise it up first let's just focus on the breath so we're just letting this band hang out right now we're not using it we're just keeping it here this isn't doing anything. Now, when we do that, it will do something. Take your hands, make it a C onto the rib cage. Big diaphragmatic inhale, filling up all the sides of the rib cage, 360. And then as you exhale, think about lifting the pelvic floor, engaging the pelvic floor, and drawing your deep belly button up and in to engage the TBA. So let's repeat that. Inhale, 360 breath. Exhale, draw it up and in on the exhale. So we wanna keep your TVA engaged. Continue doing that. Why do we wanna keep your TVA engaged? A, to strengthen your core back up, but also we want to minimize any pressure on that linea alba tissue that is starting to come, your rectus abdominals are starting to come back together. And we just don't wanna apply any pressure on that tissue or else it could cause farther separation. So if we engage your TVA, we're limiting the pressure, which is good and it is safe. If you ever see any coning or tinting, you gotta stop immediately. Everyone's a little bit different. Just be mindful of that. All right, we're gonna start with some internal and external rotations of the shoulders. So right now, bring the elbows in, hands go out to the side, just body weight, out and in. Just focusing on that breath, focusing on that engagement. What's up, Violet? So it is a quarantine at our house right now, so. Violet's joining me today. All right, let's hold it in. Now we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna cross it over one at a time, alternating. So internal rotation of the shoulders, bring it out, and then just going up and down, over with the right, over with the left, warming up the shoulders. Continue that breath. Make sure your pelvis is not in an anterior tilt. Keep it nice and neutral. All right, we're gonna sh uh, <laughs> engage right here. Inhale it up, I'm gonna scoot on over Violet. Inhale it up, and as we exhale, draw your elbows slightly behind the rib case. So we're gonna fire up the lat muscles. I'll give you a little different view. So we're inhaling up, exhale, squeeze the lat muscles down. We have three more like this. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, try not to let the belly tilt too much forward. Exhale, draw the lats in, great job. And we're gonna do that again. External rotation of the shoulders for 10. Just bring you out and in before we grab those weights. We have five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Internal rotation, go uh, over and under, over and under. I do have one more child, Malia, she's two. She is napping with her father. She's not napping with her father. All right, last one. All right, inhale up and exhale. Draw those lats down, elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Three more. This concludes your warm up. Last one. All right, we're going to grab your light weights to start. Make sure you have that band in place because now we're going to use it. We're going to begin with some lateral raises. So Violet, you stay right there. I'm gonna come right here. So we're gonna lean slightly forward to really target the delts. Now draw your deep belly button up and in. This position will allow you to engage the TVA a little bit more as well. So we bring those dumbbells away from each other. Act like you're about to pour something out and that'll engage the delts a little bit more. Then we bring it on down. We have 10 total, let's go. Control it, just the upper body. Now you can do this standing as well. <sighs> Sitting down just requires a little bit more mind muscle connection. It takes the lower body completely out of it. <sighs> All right, last one. Keep the position of the upper body. Now we're bringing those dumbbells right in front of you, neutral grip, control it down, front raises. We have 10 total.
control it down. Nice work. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. This is the fun part. I'm going to scoot back over. Now bring your feet at least hip distance apart. Now we're going to go to those banded abductions. Make sure you have a neutral pelvis. We're not shifting the belly forward. Nice and neutral. From here, press into the band. Big squeeze of the glutes. You're going to feel the pelvic floor engage as well with this. So press it out, then bring it in. This is your starting and ending position with tension on the band. We have 25 total. Let's go. Big press. Go ahead. Place your hands on the outer glutes. Make sure they are hardening and are at least firming up on the way out. So that's where we should feel it and underneath as well. Great way to engage the pelvic floor. Just keep that slight lean forward. Draw it up and in as we press it out. Keep the weight mainly in the heels, not the toes. Knees stacked directly over the ankles. Keep this tempo. We have five, four, three, last two, and last one. Grab your dumbbells, Let give the legs a little break, just bring them inside. We have uh, 10 lateral raises, slightly forward, neutral spine. Control it, 10 total. We're repeating this block. This is round two, we have three total rounds. Come on, five more. Last five, four, three, two, this time we're going directly into the front raises, neutral grip, shoulder level, straight out in front. So this hits the anterior or the front of the delt, the lateral raises, we're hitting the side or the medial delts. Control it, you got it, come on, five more. Last five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. Set those weights down, bring the feet out. We're feeling tension now in the glutes, in the hamstrings, and we're gonna engage the pelvic floor as well. So inhale, exhale, draw it up and in. Now we go out, keep that engagement, keep the breath steady, 25 total. Now, if you don't have a band, we can use the hands as resistance as well, just like so. Keep pressing out. Sitting down allows the pelvic floor to gauge a little bit more as well, I have found, at least for myself. Keep pressing, keep this tempo. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the feet together, give the glutes the pelvic floor and the legs a little break. Lateral raises to front, we have 10 of each, let's go. Last and final round of these exercises. Control, control, control. Slightly forward. You'll be able to engage your TVA a little bit more that way too. Here's your last two. Last one, nice work. Front raises for 10. No swing and control it. That's why we're seated. It's easier and just, it's more attainable to control it and take the lower body out of it. Sometimes we wanna swing those hips into it. This takes it out. Here's your last one. Nice, place the dumbbells off to the side. Abductions, final round, let's go. 25 total. And if this feels too easy, it may be time to up your band, your band resistance. You can always change it up to a fabric band, which does provide a little bit more resistance, greater resistance than this latex band. So that's an option or something to think about as well. Keep pressing out. Little small controlled presses. Last 10. Eight, six, five, four, Three, two, now hold it out. Big squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Go ahead and shake it out and grab one of your heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna switch my bench just so you can have a better view. Okay, so you have one heavy dumbbell. Now you can do this standing or you can come back to that seated position just so you can get a little bit better engagement, but you can bring it standing. If you're tired of sitting for today, go ahead, stand it up. 
We're gonna hit the same muscle groups. One dumbbell goes overhead. Equally distribute the weight in both hands. Elbows hug in tight. We hinge at the elbows, big stretch along the triceps, and then we bring it back up. We have 15 total, let's go. So I'll show you a different view. Elbows in tight. Draw that deep belly button up and in. Big stretch, big contraction on the way up. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, set that dumbbell off to the side. We have two exercises and it's just your body weight. So right now, we're going to bring it to the edge of your bench or your seat. Fingertips point forwards, come to the palms. We're maintaining that chair position. Inhale throughout the ribcage, exhale. Draw that deep belly button up and in, slight posterior tilt. Then we hinge at the elbows, going back to the triceps and then bringing it back up. Option here is just to reduce the range of motion. Let's go, feet are together. Just really focusing on the upper body. Eight, six, last five. Four, three, two, and one. We're bringing the bottom of the shoulder blades to rest on the bench. This is why your chair should be up against a wall. All right, so we're pressing back and down into the bench. Now we're pressing against the band. We're gonna hit the glutes, but here's how we're gonna hit it. We bring it to the bottom from here. Posterior tilt, slight, bring it up. So slight posterior tilt of the pelvis. From here, we drive through the heels, Big squeeze of the glutes as we press into the band. So not only is your pelvic floor engaged, the glutes should be hard and firm. They're contracting, they're doing the main work. And then we bring it back down. So inhale, posterior tilt. Deep belly button goes up and in. Exhale, drive it up, press into the band. We have 10 total, that was two. Go at your own pace. Something else to be mindful of is that your hip points are actually staying underneath the rib cage. So this should be underneath here. What I see all the time is that, and that will put pressure on the belly and the low back. And we wanna make this all about the glutes. Strong glutes equals a strong pelvis, less hip pain. I'm telling you what, if we strengthen that core and those glutes, and if you have hip pain now, give it, you know, give it five good months of strength training those areas and I bet, I bet we could eliminate it. Here's your last one, let's do one more. Big squeeze, control it, let those hips go all the way down to the ground. Let's shift the weight off and over to the left side and go ahead, bring it right back up. We're coming right back into that block. Triceps, triceps, and then glutes, all right. So you can do it standing up, you can do it seated down, pick your poison, we have 15 total. Don't do this, <laughs> I just found myself doing it. Keep that neutral low back. So if you do have low back pain, that's the tendency. is to go into that lordotic spine, your butt's sticking out, and your abdominals are constantly being stretched out. So we wanna just bring it back to that neutral spine. Normal tempo. Last five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. We're coming down to the bench. So we're just bringing it into a chair position. Inhale throughout the rib cage, exhale. Draw that deep belly button up and then you'll come into a slight posterior tilt as well. From here, we bring it down, press it up. Five more. Last five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Let those shoulder blades come on to the bench. Bottom of the shoulder blades going down and back into the bench. Now we press against the band. Bring it down, posterior tilt. Transverse abdominals engage. Then we drive through the heels, squeezing the glutes. Glutes are at the start of this exercise. Let's go, 10 total. Big squeeze, big pause at the top. Make sure they are fired up correctly. Nice work. Drive into that band on the way up even more. Looking straight ahead. Here we go, three more. Big squeeze. 
two. Last one. Nice work. Bring it all the way down to your mat. Shift the weight over into the left side of the body. We're bringing it back up. However, it feels most comfortable for you. That was my preferred way. And let's go. Tricep extensions. Final round. We have 15 before we go to body weight. Draw your deep belly button up and in. That'll help change the lordotic spine in the low back as well. All right, let's go. We can also just bring it to a standing position. Again, I know if you're tired of, of sitting down, you may want to stand it up, and that's okay. Do what works for you. Or maybe you've been walking around carrying that baby all day. <laughs> Violet, who was just in here, she had to be held and walked around constantly, so I would appreciate the sitting. Everyone's different. Every baby is different. Last one. Bring it down. All right, tricep dips. We have 10 total. Let's go. Final round. Elbows pointing back. Keep this tempo. I know those triceps are burning. We can just bring it halfway down, halfway up if needed. Last two. Last one. Nice work. Shoulder blades go back and down onto the bench. Feet go wide. Hip thrust. 10 total. Posterior tilt. Drive it up. Big squeeze of the glutes. D belly button goes up and in. Drive through the heels. Looking straight forward. Pause at the top, squeeze and engage the glutes, press into that band. This is such a great exercise, especially after baby. We wanna keep those glutes nice and strong. We wanna keep that pelvis, your hips, nice and level and strong, and strong glutes will help that. Here we go, three more. Drive it up, press to the band, two more. And the last. One, nice work. Let the hips come all the way down to the mat. Shift the weight into the left side of the body. Legs go together and then just bring it up into a nice standing position. Now, if at any point you need to get rid of this band, get rid of it. We're not using it when we do the upper body exercises, but on the lower body, we will be pressing into that band. Now we need both of your heavier dumbbells. You can always go lighter if needed. Coming your way, we're only gonna start with one of those dumbbells and then we'll grab both when we hit the biceps. So for this high row, we're actually gonna brace yourself on your chair or on your bench. So left knee, left hand goes onto the bench. We grab the weight into the right hand. Pronated grip, so palm faces uh, me, your palm is facing you. We drive that dumbbell out high and wide. Elbow flares out to the side, control it on the way down. Draw your deep belly button up and in. No coning, no tinning. Engage on the exhale. All right, little roundness of the upper spine, that's okay. Bring the foot in, we're not working the glutes, just the back, let's go. 15 total, own pace. We have three total rounds, this is your first one. Big squeeze of the upper back. This is gonna help with that posture. So if we're carrying around that baby right now, we have the tendency of to want to uh, slouch a little forward, keeping a nice strong back will help counteract that. Here we go, two more. Big squeeze, a last one. All right, we're gonna flip it around. I apologize for the view, but this is what you get. All right, other side, high row onto the left. We have 15 total. Just using the right side of the body now to help brace ourselves and really to make a better mind-muscle connection uh, with the back. Here's your last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Grab your other dumbbell. We're taking it to a nice standing position now. Keep that engagement of the abdominals. Palms are facing uh, me, mine are facing you. Supinated grip. We bring it up. Big squeeze of the biceps. Control, control, control on the way down. 10 total. Bicep curls. Let's go. Big squeeze. Make sure you have that neutral spine. I can't stress that enough because if we do this, we're, we're constantly just stretching out those abdominals, maybe putting more tension on the midline of the abs, which we don't want right now. Keep it up and in. Last one. Nice work. Release the weights off to the side. Now we have a bench tap squat. Here we go. Heavy in those heels. Apply tension into the band. Press into it. Glutes should already be firing up from here. Now we're taking it down, barely tapping the bench, and then driving through the heels. 
uh, your options up here. Let's go. Drive through the heels. As we bring it up, press into the band. Knees behind the second or third big toe. TVA is engaged. Nice work. Here's your last two. And last one. Nice work. That was your final block. One down, two to go. Grab one of your weights. High rows. Keep the TVA engaged throughout this entire block as well as all of your exercises. Let's go. Come on, 15. Big squeeze of the upper back. How much time do we have today? We don't know. If you're doing this during nap time, we gotta go when we gotta go. Big squeeze, elbow flares out. Over halfway, you got this. Here's your last five. Three, two, one. We're flipping it directly to the other side, left side. Let's get right into it, 15. Strengthening the back. Really, this will attribute so much to better posture in the future. Give yourself this time right now to strengthen and to release. Come on, five more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, bring it up. Grab that other dumbbell. 10, supinated bicep curls. Let's go, big squeeze, control. It's all in the upper body. So this is what I see all the time. We don't want that, uh-uh. Lighten the weights if that happens. Make the mind-muscle connection, keep the form, and then slowly you can bring that weight and resistance up. Here's your last one. Nice work, set those weights down. Bench tap squats for 10, press into the band. Let's go, lower body. Sit back and down, barely tap that bench, drive through the heels. Drive through the heels, press into the band. Nice work. On the exhale, drive it up through the heels, engage TVA. Nice. You can even squeeze the glutes at the top, but keep a neutral spine. Neutral low back if you squeeze. Last two. Last one. Nice work. We have that one more time, then we are done. Let's get right into it. High rows on the right side, 15. Let's go, big squeeze of the upper back. Elbow flares out. Keep the TVA activated. Remember, no coning, no tensing at any point. If that happens, stop immediately and work on the breath, work on that core activation. Here's your last two. Last one, nice job, flip it around. Other side, then we're done with this exercise. Let's get right to it, 15 total. Upper back, squeeze it, control it. Keep the gaze focused on the ground. You're not looking at me anymore, you know what to do. Come on, five more, last five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly bring it up, grab that other weight, flip the grip, supinated grip, 10 bicep curls, hard squeeze at the top. Slow it down on the way down. 10 total. Lower body's not swinging, no bouncing. You got this, elbows in tight. Keep the space from the shoulder to the elbow completely still. Nice work. Here's your last two, come on. Last two, and last one. Set those dumbbells down, this is it. Final, 10, bench tap squats. Let's get right to it, heavy in the heels. Let's go back and down, that chair's there for support. Bring it back and down. Drive it through the heels, press into the band on the way up. TVA's engaged. Nice, but that means the pelvic floor is engaged too. It's part of your core. Come on, press into the band, drive it up. Here's your last three. Last two. A last one, now we're taking a seat on that bench. We're ending just how we started. Press into the band. 
press into the band. We have 25 banded abductions. And if you don't have those bands, use your hands as resistance. You can even do it standing as well. Come on, keep this tempo. We're halfway through. Press into the band. Glutes are firing up. Pelvic floor is lifted. Here we go. Last five, four, and three. We hold. Two. Now hold it out. Hold it out. Eight count hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Go ahead, slide that band off. Let's get rid of it first. And let's stretch out the lower body before we hit the upper body since we have this bench. So we're right here. We can do this in a standing position as well. I'm just gonna bring that um, leg into a, a sh the shape of a four. So outside of the left ankle, over the right quad, and then just bring it down, driving this knee out. I'll show you a different variation right now. We're right here on a wall or on a chair, just in that standing figure four stretch. So you can do the standing or seated. All right, let's bring it to the other side. Standing or seated, figure four stretch. And let's slowly release, nice work. Inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, hinge at that left elbow. Give yourself a nice gentle side bend up and over to the right and stretching up that left tricep as well. Inhale up, flip the grip. Give your right tricep a nice little stretch. Side bend up and over to the left. Inhale, arms reach up. And then as we exhale, hug that right elbow in. Draw the right shoulder blade down. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And other side. Nice, let's do one more lower body stretch. So right heel comes forward, dorsiflex at the ankle and hinge from the hips, feeling a nice hamstring stretch. Now this bench or the chair, the elevation will intensify the stretch a little bit more. So if you don't have that chair, don't worry about it or to the ground and hinging that same way. Now keep hinging, but uh, bring that hip to a, an external rotation. So just bring those toes out to the side, rotating from the hip. Give you a different view. So external rotation of the hip. <gasps> mm-hmm. Nice, now let's bring it to that other side. Toes are going straight towards the chest. Let's hinge on the exhale. Hold here, not the breath, just the stretch. And then when we're ready, bring that hip to an external rotation, toes pointing out, and then just hinge it back even more, letting the stretch go to the glutes a little bit more. Oh, nice job today. Uh, let me know how that was for you in the comments below. Thank you for letting my daughter Violet come in with all the, uh, whatever she had on, eating her gummy bears. That's life. That's how it is sometimes. I'm in quarantine, so just trying to make the most of it and the best of it. Keep a positive attitude, mama. You got this. You rock. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. And have a wonderful rest of the day.